Good morning everybody. My name is Grant Rivers and you're watching another episode of The River's Edge. Today I'm out here at Clearwater, specifically at Turtle Beach in Bermuda, and we're just exploring and kind of discussing why I believe this area is actually one of the top five beaches or really string of beaches that you should visit whenever you come to Bermuda. If you're an avid turtle lover, Cooper's Island and Clearwater Beach have a lot to offer you. What you'll find here is wildlife in abundance. There are tons of species of Bermudian birds here, tons of different types of fish that you can see, such as parrotfish. And then of course, there are beaches like this named after the turtle wildlife that you'll see pretty much everywhere. So if you're a nature lover, you can definitely enjoy the 77 acres found here and just go on walks, bike rides, exercise, get out with your family, bring your kids. There are also parks over here to the right that you can enjoy with your family. So really what I'm trying to say is there's something here for everybody. All right, let's get to the tour. I'm gonna show you all around and show you some of my reasons why I think this is one of the best beaches in the world. Would you say that Clearwater Beach has earned the name Clearwater? Would, oh, yeah. would, you, would you agree with that? Yep, it's sparkling clear and pretty. And there's a nature reserve behind it to go walking. <laughs> I really like your hair. You just got it done? Yes. Right now I'm actually standing on Cooper's Island Nature Reserve. People come out here whenever they're trying to get away from things. This is not the type of area that you want to go to if you know, you're know you kind of looking for the hustle and bustle that a lot of tourism offers. A really cool thing about Cooper's Island Nature Reserve is that NASA actually had a station here. And what I'm doing right now is actually standing in front of one of their decommissioned radio towers that they had while they were here on the island. It's really cool. I, if you're a NASA geek, I think that's a really awesome fun fact. But anyways, let's get on with the tour. I really love the fact that St. George's is a UNESCO world site and they're so close to Cooper's Island and Clearwater Beach. One of the best Chinese places is over here, but the wharf has some of the best sushi that you could ever have. Also, Wahoo has some of the best fish sandwiches, fish wraps, and just fish on the entire island. So the fact that St. George's is historically one of the spots that was originally settled whenever colonists came to Bermuda, it's a UNESCO world site with so many things for tourists and people to see. There are awesome places to eat and it's only two miles away from here. This is definitely worth a trip for you and your family. Some tourists said that they were struggling to get over here because the bus wasn't an easy transition from town to the east end. So I can understand if you all are struggling with that. But if you stay at Grotto Bay, which is about half a mile away from the airport, and you're kind of in that area, this should be an easy transit to get over here and shouldn't take you any longer than seven or eight minutes.
around at the frisbee fly. Some of you are probably wondering why my clothes are different from when the video first began. It's because this is like my fourth time coming out here and having to film. Just because it gets kind of crazy out here sometimes and the sun will go behind a cloud or you know the clouds will roll in and it'll start raining. So all that aside, if you look behind me right now you'll see that Bermuda has some of the best water visibility in the world. It's clear, it's clean, it's not polluted and that's exactly how we like it. This place is just kind of unique to itself. I would be really hard pressed and I think a lot of you would be as well to find better visibility anywhere else in the world. Fun fact, here at Cooper's Island, there are actually three different species of seagrass that are growing on the sea floor. The three are turtle grass, manatee grass, and shoal grass and they actually serve an important purpose in the ecosystem. What they do is they photosynthesize, or they take rays from the sun, capture it, and actually produce oxygen, which allows the ecosystem here at Cooper's Island to stay balanced. It's actually pretty cool. Andre, do you know what's behind you right there? Other shoulder. <laughs> and look down. Do you know what that is? Uh, what? No. And like limestone and stuff? No. So see that little hut right there made of concrete? Oh, that? Yes. So that's actually a man-made hut. Oh, the go birds. ahead. The birds! <laughs> for petrels maybe? Oh. Or are they for long tails? Actually, it's for long tails. Yeah, so whenever longtails come to Bermuda uh, during their mating season, some of the nature conservationists actually build some of the man-made huts for the longtails so that they can make, make a baby. <laughs> Here are some of the reasons why I think Cooper's Island Nature Reserve is actually the best beach and best area for tourists and people who live in Bermuda to visit in the world. The first reason I think this is because Cooper's Island Nature Reserve is free. It's not one of those areas that you have to pay for. I know that some beaches are private because hotels own them and they come with a cost. But this is something that's free to the public. Anyone can enjoy it. And it really is just an area that you can come and enjoy and not have to worry about crime or being unsafe or anything like that. Reason number two, this area is extremely family friendly. If you have children, there's a park here. There's area for you to walk, for them to play, just any and everything that you can think of. There's even a pizza parlor down the road. So it's definitely an added bonus that you can have a little bit of play, a little bit of food, and there's a lot of safety involved because Bermuda is typically thought of as a very safe place. Reason number three, I think that this area is one of the best must-do spots in the world. You have to come here. It's safe. As we continuously live in a world where we're having to protect our items and keep our family safe and, and just all of those things, you don't really have to worry about that in an island like Bermuda. 
I would say really the thing that you have to worry about most is just keeping an eye on your children actually in the ocean because the ocean is very dangerous, we have to respect it, and there are things like undertow and currents that can that can grab you. And when I was little, I got grabbed, and it's, it's a very scary experience. So make sure that you're keeping your eye on your kids, but ultimately, this is a, a spot that you can come to and, and really just enjoy with your loved ones and not have to worry about any craziness. Reason number four, that this is one of the best spots in the world, so you should definitely come down. I'm gonna keep saying it until you do. This is a secluded area. If you've noticed during the walks, there aren't a lot of people down here. It's not necessarily a well-known area, so capitalize on that. And especially now since this video is out, hopefully you can get to this spot early before tourism really ramps up and COVID dies down and just enjoy some seclusion. Lastly, reason number five why I have to recommend this spot to everybody is because Bermuda is beautiful. Clearwater Beach, Cooper's Island Nature Reserve, Turtle Beach, all of these areas combined into one are just scenic. If you look behind me, you can see just the beauty and majestic nature that comes with living in an ecosystem, being in an area that pollution and industrialization and commercialization, all those things have not completely upended and destroyed. So while it's here, we have to take care of it, we have to enjoy it ultimately come see it for yourself I really hope that you all enjoyed this video once again my name is Grant Rivers and this is the Rivers Edge if you liked it please like comment and subscribe just so that the YouTube algorithm will push the video out so poor more people can get to know Bermuda get to know our way of living get to know the beautiful scenery that we get to see every single day thank you all so much for watching if you made it this far and I hope you have a blessed day Have you ever been stung by a jellyfish? Nope. Never? Nope. So only me, mom, and grandma? Yep. <laughs> Have you ever seen a turtle out here? Nope. What? Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> Andrea, we have to get you out more. I want to see a turtle. I want to see a turtle at the aquarium. Sure. Crikey, mate.